Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for y in this nice exponential equation? From here, let a letter p be equals to y raised to power 1 over 4. And from here, the square on both sides, we have p square here. Now equals to y raised to power 1 over 4 squared. And from the law of indices, this power will multiply. Then, 2 here, 1. 2 here, we have 2. And this, we can write it as p squared equals to y raised to power half. Then, when we substitute this back into what we have, then this equation given will become p plus p square equals to 1. So we have p plus p square now equals to 1 from here. Then let's rearrange and take 1 to this side. Then this becomes p square plus p minus 1 equals to 0 from here. And we have a quadratic equation here which we can solve. From the quadratic formula here, we have p equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of, here we have 1 square, then minus 4 times 1, then times minus 1, over 2 times 1. And from here, we have p now equals to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4 over 2 which implies that here we have p to be equal to minus 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2 here we have two possible values of p we have the first one p equals to minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 and the second one we have p equals to minus 1 minus root 5 over 2 then we represented p as y is to power 1 over 4 here it implies that y is to power 1 over 4 which is p here and not b negative so this is expected to be positive and when we equate this so we have y raised to power 1 over 4 here equals to minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 on this side and on this side we have y raised to power 1 over 4 equals to minus 1 minus root 5 over 2 now this side is positive this side also is positive and this side is positive, this side is negative. So here on this side, there won't be real solution here. So no real solution on this side. Then we are interested in the real solution aspect. Let's solve for you know p here now from what we have here, which is p equals to minus one plus root five over two. From there I also write it as p equals to root 5 minus 1 over 2. Then let's take the square on both sides. Here we square this side, we have p square. Then here we square this side. Then when we square this side from the expansion, when we have a over b or raised to power n, here is the same thing as a raised to power n over b raised to power n. So here, this square will affect each of these. So we have p square now equals to root 5 minus 1 all square, then over 2 squared. And also here, from this expansion, when we have a minus b all square, here this gives us a square plus b square then minus 2ab. 
Now when we apply this expansion here, then we have p square equals to root 5 square plus 1 square then minus 2 times root 5 then times 1 which is divided by 2 square here we have 4 and from here square we cancel square root then we have p square now equals to 5 plus 1 square is 1 then minus 2 root 5 here over 4 which implies here that we have 5 plus 1 which is 6 so we have p square here equals to 6 minus 2 root 5 over 4 now what we have here we have two common here well, let's factor it out we have p square now equals to 2 into bracket 3 minus root 5 then over 4 here and from here we have 2 we cancel 2 out of here 2 here 1 2 here that's 2 then what we have left here now remains p square equals to 3 minus root 5 over 2 then from here recall that p square is same thing as y raised to power 1 over 2 which implies here that we have y raised to power 1 over 2 equals to 3 minus 5 over 2 then to get y here we can raise both sides to power 2 this side also to power 2 then here 2 we cancel here then we are left with y which is equals to what we have here this becomes 3 minus root 5 squared then over 2 squared then the expansion here may become y now equals to 3 squared plus root 5 squared then minus 2 times 3 times root 5 now over 2 square which is 4 then from here we have y now equals to 3 square that's 3 times 3 which is 9 then plus here square cancel square root we have 5 then minus here we have 6 root 5 then over 4 then from what we have here this become y equals to 14 minus 6 root 5 over 4 then from here 2 is common here you factor 2 out and y equals to 2 into bracket 7 left here then minus 3 root 5 left here then over 4 and from here 2 we go here 1 2 go here that's 2 then what we have left now we have y equals to 7 minus root 5 then over 2 so we have the solution to this given problem as y equals to 7 minus root 5 over 2 which we can also write as y equals to half into bracket 7 minus root 5 thank you for watching don't forget to take steps subscribe to my channel sorry this is 3 root 5 and 3 root 5 here. thank you so thank you for joining us subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and see you next class bye for now